podcast game. Welcome back to another nightly views. It's your boy KG back in the workshop studio right now. It's been about a five or six days since I uh, made a video, guys. It's been a, a heck of a week. I had to end up working overnights, through, going through through a loop again. Had to work over the nights five days in a row last week. Something that I've probably never done before. Um, it was long. It was crazy, guys. Some of you might have noticed I put some late uploads up last week. Like, I was uploading videos at like 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock at night. Something I normally don't do. Uh, I didn't tell you guys I was working overnight. So I just, it was unexpected to me. And it was kind of rough, guys. I, I don't even lie. Even though I'm up pretty late at night. Usually, majority of the time. But I'm, you know, not used to being at work, so... Uh, uh, it's been a long week, so I I end up working on this diorama. I end up finishing the diorama that I showed in my last video. I want to send a shout out to Hannah. I'm not gonna even try to say your last name, brother, because I can't. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm saying your first name right. I'm gonna put it on the screen for you guys. This brother right here is a, is a good brother. He is a uh, a member of a lot of Facebook groups, diecast groups. Um, he does uh, remakes on diecast models. <clears throat> he puts his own touch on them. He does paint jobs. He does wheel swaps. He does a lot of different things with the diecast models. And he's very reputable in throughout the groups. So uh, he requested a diorama from me. Which I'm gonna put on the screen before I actually show you the actual diorama that I built for this guy. Uh, he sent me a picture of the picture that I'm gonna show you guys, and uh, he said I want this diorama. This is the diorama I want. And when I first looked at the picture, I got kind of thrown through a loop. I'm like, what kind of, you know, this is kind of different. This is un really unusual request you know for a diorama but you know my imagination goes to whether I, I like doing things like this and I like a challenge so I accepted it um, a lot of you guys out there have been requesting dioramas from me and asking you know DM me and you know send me personal messages asking me uh, do I do dioramas, you know, or, you know, I haven't really gotten all the way into putting it out there as far as doing dioramas because my time is very limited. I really do it as a, as a hobby right now, and people are liking my work, so I'm actually start uh, something new on my channel, guys. I want to start getting you guys to get involved as far as... Um, Sending me some ideas for dioramas. I want you guys to, to send me some pictures. I'm going to get you guys involved. Um, send me some ideas for a diorama that you might have. You can send me a picture like, can you do this in the diorama? Or can you do that in the diorama? I already have a bunch of ideas already, guys, um, for dioramas that I want to do. But just to pick you guys' brains out, you know, and see what what you guys are thinking because it is about you guys you know this channel is about you guys and what I do practically is mostly about you guys and to be quite honest with you guys I don't have any room um, for any more dioramas you know I have to eliminate to actually add so you know space for me is really limited I really would like a, a large 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 larger space for where I can just build all type of dioramas that, you know, I would just go crazy with my mind because that's how my mind works. I could just go out, but I ain't going to just keep blabbing on and on and on, guys. Um, if you watch me for the first time, hit that subscribe button right now. Uh, I'm doing, you know, the numbers are really going up. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, we, we less than 20 subscribers away from another giveaway, guys. Like, it's, it's really happening. We finna be, uh, 
I just done another giveaway uh giveaway last week. Shout out to jo to Joe Augustine. I hope your package gets to you, brother. Uh, I just mailed his package out yesterday, so a lot's been going on. I'm still doing the giveaways. Um, just as a token of my appreciation to you guys and and a grant to myself because I'm trying to promote and self promote myself to a thousand subscribers and into to monetization like monetization. That's you know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get monetized and it's just I'm trying to do it on my own. I'm not looking for any uh collaborations or shells or anything right now. Anybody who rocked with me, I appreciate it if you had sh like share the video to other diecast guys or, or anybody let them know you know what's going on on the channel. They can actually win something uh, in one of my giveaways. I enjoy doing them. Um, right now, it's costing me actually money to actually do it, but you know anybody who rocked with me, I know they can appreciate it. Anybody who's starting a collection or you know want any information about you know diecast models i'm gonna do a video on the different scales you know to uh educate some people that don't might know the different size of models and the different scale sizes. i'm gonna try to get you guys going with that but it's a lot coming to the channel that's just a um a lot of my man i can go on and on and on um uh, what else can i say guys i do notice my my um my, my watch time minutes are kind of down on some videos. I don't know if guys are just skipping through the videos or clicking off the videos or clicking on and clicking off. I, I don't know. The views have, has been pretty good. Um, I try not to focus too much on the analytics when it comes to YouTube, but I just want to let you guys know uh, if you can watch the whole video uh, without skipping through the video, I really appreciate that. We finna get right into this diorama. First, I'm finna show you the picture that Hannah sent me. Then I'm finna show you the diorama. All right, guys. Here we are. Got a diorama. As you can see, it's pretty dark right now. You can't see too much up in there. On top, I got my light pack. Well, I got my light pack going through the right here. The wire going through the side here. Click the light on. And as you can see, that rim is all lit up. <clears throat> show you the guys the top first. I got a few models up here on top of the diorama. It's just I got stuff everywhere, guys. This. It's supposed to be here actually. I got my cutouts and my bump ups right here to help accentuate the, the little bump ups on the side of a garage. I'm gonna actually have to glue these down. That's the last thing that I haven't done. It's just gluing this down all the way around. And that way, as you can see, if you look up in the garage, it actually look like a, you know, the, the little bump outs is connected to my post coming down right here to make it look, you know, the real inside garage look. Um, my lights is actually the whole entire diorama from the lights all the way through from that side all the way over to here. You guys can see that. It's actually one strand of lights. And I actually started them from over here. Ran them all the way through. To over there. Through my wall. Um, I brought them through the back of there. Then I wrapped them around. The stick and made like a little light right there. And you can't see what I ran them over from there. And I connected them around my little 
air duct thing I got built in there. This is made out of foam. My my little air duct is built out of foam board. I just painted it. I got some skinny sticks going down the side of it to give it that air duct look. I have some uh some round dowels, some little skinny dowels that I painted gray. I glued along there. Actually, I got a few dowels in there. Glue along the edge where the might not be able to see them. It's actually one going across across there. I got the little screen monitor that it's not on. You know, that was kind of in the picture. Um, my mirror on the back. I'm gonna move this stuff out the way. I just wanted to show you my my dually. I had that wheel swap on my dually. I was thinking about putting the same rims on my Camaro. My Z28. Just had that out there right in front right now. I was supposed to show you that in the beginning of the video, but that's my dually. And it's out the way. You can see more of that rim. I have this little space. Now I wanted to mention. Uh, Hannah, this is actually a little bit over the left, about like about four, three or four centimeters over 19 inches coming from the front to the back. Now, I was thinking about slicing it all the way across just to, to give it 19 inches from the front to the back, all the way across. It's almost 30 inches uh, long. I'm not sure how tall it is. I haven't measured that yet. It's not that tall. You know, I got my height of the garage off my little homies. Got my little Don figure. Got my Brian figure set up with the RX-7 right here. Just about complete. Not to mention, I got this sewer cap right here. This happened by accident as I was painting or doing something in the back of here. I think I was adding my lights, lights in, and I ended up putting a a dent. I think I had one of my figures and my arm had laid on top of and put a little dent in the poster board. I actually, my floor is actually covered. Um, and this thin paper right here I got from Michaels they have all different type of car stock and different type of colors and prints I found this gray with like a little sheen to it I liked it it's my floor made gave me that idea of like that garage floor feel so I used that to glue down to the poster board all my pillars, like I mentioned in the last video, it's built out of poster board. I made my signs out of, uh, well, not poster board, this is foam board. I'm sorry, everything is made out of foam board. Now, my signs is poster board. Like I said, my air duct is, is foam board. I might have said poster board earlier. Um... My little cutouts along the top here. It's all foam board glued together. I use Gorilla Super Glue to glue everything together. It dries fast and it holds really good. I got another uh, project I was working on last week. I'm going to show you guys. I'm working on a different type of brick uh, pattern. I'm taking a foam board and just making a brick. I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing that. I'm stripping the um, foam board down, though, to making it bare foam. I'm going to show you guys how I do that in another video. But once again, guys, like I said before, if you're watching me for the first time, hit that subscribe button. Um, We only, like, maybe 19 subscribers away from a giveaway 
It's going to be a die cast giveaway. Like the last giveaway I just done. I'm going to give you guys uh, some options. I think I'm going to run it the same way. Computer generated giveaways. And I haven't decided exactly how. I'm going to do it because the computer generator got different programs. Then I can switch it up and make it different, interesting, and fun. I enjoy building this diorama. Shout out to Hannah. Like I said before, um, earlier in the video, if you have any ideas on dioramas, if you have any photos, like Hannah sent me a photo, you can say that, do that, and say this is a diorama that I, I would like to have build or like to see you build. Either or. And uh, we'll see, you know, what happens from there, gang. Like, I really enjoyed this one. And I hope you guys enjoy it, too. If you have any questions, as usual, you can get down in the comments section. And I will answer your questions, guys. I'll get back to your comments. Until next video, guys. Whether it be tomorrow night or next week. That's pretty much how it's been going, gang. So, I really appreciate you. Good night. Peace.